Monster Hunter Wilds has started showing us information. Today, we got three videos. We got basics, we got focus mode, and we got the great sword. So we're gonna watch all of them. This video is basic mechanics. So I'm gonna assume that this video is more so for people jumping in for the first time, perhaps. But if you are a veteran of Monster Hunter, you're at least gonna be able to see stuff. There's gonna be stuff in the background. There's gonna be things, stuff for us to see. So let's watch it. Hunters have two weapon states, shield and drawn. I didn't know that. When your weapon is sheathed, you can move faster and use items. It looks so good. Oh my god, it looks so good. When your weapon is drawn, your movement is limited, but your weapon can be used to attack. Look at that weapon, man. My computer's gonna explode. <laughs> the secret. Secret. The secret is a creature that can be mounted, providing you with a means of travel. So it takes a little bit for him to get there. It's actually good, which I'll talk about after. Oh! It can guide you automatically to target monster for your current quest. There's so much to look at here. We need to pause. We'll pause after we watch it. After we watch all of it, we'll pause it. <laughs> There's so much to look at. While mounted, you can recover your health. Sharpen your weapon. Gather useful hunting items and material. And you'll even gain the ability to switch between a primary and secondary weapon. The Slinger. Much more compact than Monster Hunter World. The Slinger is a standard equipment for any hunter. You remember in World, they were massive. It allows you to fire various types of ammo that you can gather in the environment. Dude, it's so sharp. It allows you to fi- I already read that. <laughs> <laughs> we got a flash pod. He's really cute when he gets blinded. Use the hook slinger to gather items from a distance. It looks so good. Or to interact with the environment. That was really far away. You can even use the hook slinger while riding your secret. So that is our first video we'll take a little look through i'm also going to move my camera down here so you can see the gathering of materials man oh it looks good so in here there's not it's not like a ton to see here it's just like the environment <laughs> healing looks like it works the same as world where it gradually goes up this great sword looks great the details on the armor and stuff are crazy this seeing um how fast secret can get to you after you call him was pretty important because in monster hunter rise people didn't like that wirefall was like a get out of jail free card if you had the ability to wirefall you were good if something knocked you over it didn't really matter as long as you had a charge of that if you didn't have a charge obviously you were out of luck but um people didn't like wirefall so when we first saw the secret and you could use him when you get knocked over to come and pick you up. People were a little bit worried that it was gonna be a wirefall situation, but it does not appear to be the case because look how long it takes. I'm gonna be dead <laughs> by the time he gets to me. <laughs> now this, oh my God, we need to move our camera up. First of all, look at this. Begin quest, beautiful. <laughs> In the corner, you've got, um, oh my goodness, what's his name? Chat to Cabra? Chat to Cabra? Chat to Cabra. I know he's like the Chupacabra, but, but different. So, this is like the actual, you get to see a little bit of the picture here of what the art is going to look like of the monsters, like in your book and everything, and when you're accepting quests. You've got the Windward Plains down here. The UI looks beautiful. And then this, this freaking map, dude. This map is a 3D map, which we knew there was gonna be a 3D map, but I'm so glad that like the little map is also 3D. You've got your typical stuff of like things to pick up for points. You've got herbs, various different herbs, mushrooms. These are gathering thingies, right? For your slinger. And I assume this is maybe an environmental thing. 
for you to interact with? The boulder? Maybe. But definitely, like, slinger ammo on the floor, some herbs, stuff like that. But as he moves, look, you can see that it's 3D. Look at that. Look at that 3D. Look at that. And then this has the quest marker over Chata Cabra. I really should Google his name if it's wrong. I'm very sorry. <laughs> he deserves respect. So this is our quest target. Now, if you have not found a monster before, so see if this is your first ever quest for this monster, it's the first time you've ever seen it, you will not be able to automatically track to the monster. You have to have gathered the footprints and like found them previously before you can have them automatically go towards the monster. Look at that. Dude, the map is so good. Ah. Uh... It's so good. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see from the beginning of the quest again. <laughs> I want to see from the beginning. I want to see from the beginning. I'll just play it all the way through. But see what else you can notice. There might be some other things. Obviously, we have fireflies. Uh, similarly to world. Similarly. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, what happened with the map there? You see that? So as soon as you start like engaging in combat, this pops up and then it goes smaller. <laughs> That's so clean. That's so clean. I love that. It looks great. Yeah, I'm loving the map because I certainly got lost in Monster Hunter World in the ancient forest. Verticality is, I love verticality, but God damn did I get lost. <laughs> I think I still do not know my way around a lot of some places. That looks like some kind of uh, crystal burst thing. It definitely flinches him. Yeah, it's a flinch and it's a multi-hit if you hear the audio. He's so cute when he gets flash. Look at him. He's like, meow, meow, meow. <laughs> he's so cute. I love him. I love this too. Being able to gather from a distance is really, really nice. And then this, like that looks pretty far away, right? And she's not knocking it down with something in her slinger and shooting it. She's using her slinger to pull it down. <laughs> it looks pretty far away, but maybe my uh, distance tracking is bad or something. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, that is the first video of the basics. Uh, and obviously, we, didn't get, we don't get to learn a ton of new information because this is just covering the basic mechanics if you're new to the franchise. But that shot where we got to see like all of this, the UI, I love seeing UI. It's my favorite thing. Next, we have focus mode. Now, focus mode is a brand new mechanic coming to Monster Hunter with Monster Hunter Wilds. <laughs> Focus mode. Focus mode allows you to carefully aim your attacks or guards. So you see you have that little, we'll just watch it first, we'll watch it. We'll go back and take a look at it. Attacks or guards you perform in focus mode will be directed where the camera is facing. While hunting, attacking the same part of a monster continuously may create wounds on that body part. Using focus mode will highlight those wounds. Attacks to wounds will deal more damage than normal. Damage comparison, that's a 55 by the way. <laughs> Focus mode will also highlight any weak points that, that the monster has exposed. Focus strikes. <laughs> oh, we need to, we need to. Don't worry, we'll go back. <laughs> There's a lot, there was a lot of weapons in that little bit. Focus strikes are special attacks that deal extra damage to wounds and weak points. Use focus mode to zero in on a monster's weakness and deal major damage. That was a lot of information in like a very short amount of time. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna go through this a little bit. There was a lot, because they didn't just show Greatsword in here. So I love that you can see what focus mode actually looks like now, because we were wondering if you're gonna get a reticle. What does the reticle even look like? This is it. This is it right here. So it actually shows, um, if you've played bow or like any um, any ranged weapon,
they'll have a little indicator to show if you're in the optimal range of the monster. And that's what this looks to be, right? Because you can see that it's empty when he's far away. And then as the monster gets closer, you can see the circle start to appear. This is something to pay attention to, actually, and I've actually seen already a little bit of drama on the internet. This, this moment right here. So I'm gonna need my great sword mains, if you're out there, to talk to me about how you feel about this. Because great swords, you're normally locked in your animation, right? And that's part of the skill gap that I hear from a lot of great sword mains that they really like about great sword is that they have to time their positioning and their moves precisely because you're, you're stuck in it. Focus mode allows you to turn while you're charging. So I would be curious as to what you think about this. I think it's obviously gonna be really good for people picking up the game for the first time. I see a lot of people want to play Greatsword and they gravitate towards it. And then they see how kind of slow and difficult it can be to use and they end up being turned off the whole game because they're like, damn, is this how every weapon is? I can't hit anything. It also makes me wonder, sorry, that's my alarm. It also makes me wonder if Wilds is gonna be faster paced than Worlds because I think that the, the whole positioning thing and being locked in place for animations is definitely a skill gap thing for each weapon. Um, But if monsters are faster than they are in world, then being able to turn and all of that stuff with your charging attacks, I assume it might even be the same for things like Dragon Piercer on bow. Um, if they're fast, that could kind of make it to where it balances it out. Because as we saw in Rise, those monsters are really freaking fast. They are totally balanced over you using Wirefall and various different wire bug attacks. Uh, so we'll see how it ends up being balanced. But I've seen a lot of mixed stuff. People are like, ah, it lowers the skill gap and I don't like that. Other people are pretty happy that it just means they're gonna be able to um, hit more of their combos. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is now what you can do with focus mode. You can turn. Attacks or guards you perform in focus mode will be directed to where the, so this, this, this is also an important thing. So check this out, sword and shield. This move in world, you could only do when you were um, going down a ledge. You could only do it when you were going down a ledge. I think in Rise, it was a switch skill that allowed you to do it. Look at that. Oh, I do like sword and shield. <laughs> I'm a fan of sword and shield. Uh, I love great sword, but sometimes is a hindrance as long as it's only turning and not moving. Yeah, it, we haven't seen any moving. The only moving we've seen was actually from a trailer where they showed the person like, I'm. we're looking at his butt. Oh my God. So just don't look at his butt. He is a classy man. Don't look at his butt. <laughs> Oh God, what was it? Oh yeah, we've seen them move with like throwing out their slinger and pulling themselves towards an enemy. Um, but I haven't really seen any charging and moving going on. King, I hope so. So this was another thing that was very interesting to see them do this attack with sword and shield. And this slope, I mean, there is a slope here and there's like a teeny slope here. But it's not enough, I don't think, for you to be able to do that in world. So I think it's a little bit different. I think it's a little bit different. That was, that was kind of nuts. So in here, he's not in focus mode, right? Check this out. So he's not in focus mode during this because we don't have the reticle. Switches to focus mode after he gets up and immediately it turns the camera for him to be able to guard the attack. I actually think that's really cool. I think that's really cool. And stick with my theory of the game being a little bit faster than Monster Hunter World. That's gonna create some really clutch counters and blocks and stuff like that. It looks really fun. That looks really fun to be going in and out of focus mode. You're not in focus mode, you get knocked down, you go to focus mode, quickly turn around, you guard. And then uh, this next part, 
So you see, they're talking about wounds here now. Do you see that? It wasn't there before. It wasn't there. Bang, and now it's there. So you don't even need to be in focus mode to see the wounds. You can see them on the monster. Um, but if you are unsure of where the wounds are, you can go into focus mode and you'll be able to see them. There you go, it's glowing, look at that. Firefly glow. Looks beautiful. And I like that, especially as we get like closer and closer to more and more realistic graphics, having a way to still be able to see what the fudge is going on is very nice. Very, very nice. Fran will be playing Monster Hunter. He has to, it's part of a charity incentive and we will be backseating him. And our enemies modula? Does anyone know what uh, Iku means by modular, modular enemies? I haven't played a lot of Horizon. I played the first one. <sighs> Hopefully the online systems are more user friendly. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I just want, I just want people to be able to, um, I want people to be able to play together. Even if you haven't watched a cutscene. But don't we know that already? We do know that already. Yeah, we do know that already. Okay, never mind. Um, we do know that. <laughs> we do know the answer to that. So with the online, it basically works as you guys constantly being in the same group together. And so when you go into a story mode, you're not going to be like in the cutscenes together, but you will be able to watch the cutscenes individually and still stay in that group ready to play together when you're all done with like watching the cutscenes. So um, we'll see how it ends up being. We know that there's cross play, which is huge. Individually targetable parts. You can target the tail or a canister. Yes, I believe probably Horizon stole that from Monster Hunter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, not stole. I'm pretty sure that Horizon in general got a lot of inspiration from Monster Hunter. You didn't, yeah, you shouldn't have to. Yeah, you should be able to just be in a team with your friends. And then as soon as you guys are good to play together, like the cutscenes are over and whatever, you should be able to just play together. And you just remember, you just remain in the same team forever until someone leaves, of course. Attacks to wounds. So this was interesting because we got to see some stuff. So this was a hit to the head, 55 damage. 55. And this is without it being uh, wounded. And then here, you can see that his head is weak because you've got the glowing fireflies. Bing! 68. And we do have the classic little pointers, <laughs> the pointies, <laughs> to indicate that you're hitting a, a wounded part of the body. So 55 compared to 68 with that hit. Mmm, dude, I really like this. And focus strikes? Oh my god, oh my god, go back, Jesus! <laughs> I might have to slow it down. Focus strikes. So every single weapon is gonna have a new move with focus strikes, if not more moves than what we know of with focus strikes, right? So we know that we're all getting a focus strike move, which does a bunch of damage to weak points um, on a monster. So this is the great swords, the shping, the cut through. Bam! Long sword. Hoja! See that? That was really fast. Pay attention. <laughs> it's really fast. <laughs> Got it. Good. <laughs> Bing. Whoopa! Okay, this is gun lance. Right? Yeah, that's gun lance. Pay attention. Might slow it down. Just just for this part. <laughs> We're just gonna slow it down a little bit. It means I have to mute it because the audio gets really weird. Focus strikes. Okay, we'll go from here. Bang bang with the long sword. Shoot kabooms with the gun lance. Ooh, look at the design on that. Hold on. 
Dude, that shield looks dope. Look at that thing. Look at that. That looks great. So does the gun. Yeah, this actually looks really cool. I like the look of that a lot, actually. And this looks like these weapons are from the same monster, because if you notice, the greatsword has like the little dangly attachment thingy accessory on it. So does the longsword. The longsword also has the same dangly <laughs> accessory. So I assume they're all from the same monster, including this one. I really like that, though. I like the way that looks a lot. That looks good. Oh, here we go. Kaboom. If you're a, if you're a gunner, any gunners? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Damn. Any gun? What do you think of that? We, we only have a little bit. What do you think of it? <laughs> what do you think about it? Only a teeny bit. Can't really see too much of the design of the weapon. It uh, man, it looks some fl it looks so fluid. It looks so fluid. So that was the uh, focus mode information. Looks like Wyvern Blast. <laughs> Very well, maybe. I think it looks fantastic. I actually really like focus mode. Initially, I wasn't so sure about focus mode. I think they didn't do a very good job of explaining it initially, but seeing it like this, I really like it. I think it's gonna be really cool. Great sword players, your time is now. <laughs> Great sword. Ooh, first off, look at that. Look at the detail. This is why I'm telling you, there is no way that this can be like 60 FPS on console. Is it, If it is, then even more so, this engine is made by some kind of wizard. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it looks so good. The leather, man, it looks real good. <laughs> Great sword mains, I'm gonna need you to tell me what you think. A weighty weapon with slower movement and attacks, but each blow packs a powerful punch. Suitable for hit and run tactics or even guarding, the great sword is highly adaptable. Oh. Great sword looks really fun and wild. Use focus mode to target a monster's wounds and weak points. My need to pause is increasing. <laughs> I'm just like, pause the video. Okay, that looked really cool. <laughs> yeah, that that's, oh man. Greatsword looks really, really cool, I think. Bang. Bang. Dodge. Put it away. Parry, well, shoulder. What do they call it? The shoulder bash thingy? Shoulder bashy uh, uh, thing? <laughs> I always forget. It's literally in like three games that I play. Tackle. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Tackle. Yes. So we do a little tackle. Put it away. Tackle. Into a hit. Guarding. That's the counter move that we saw in like one of the earlier trailers where everyone lost their mind. <laughs> Everybody lost their mind. <laughs> Cause they're like, what is that? And this is actually one of these moves where I, I'm gonna say, I think every weapon is going to have this type of move. Because in one of the articles that we were reading, they were talking about like counter moves where if you do it at the right time, it knocks an enemy back. Um, I think it's going to be on, I think it's going to be on every weapon. I think it's going to be something for every weapon. Because it's not a parry, it's hitting at a specific time. That looks so good. Oh my god. It looks really good. This makes me want to play Greatsword. <laughs> We're going to play this in the background while we just have our little final thoughts. I, uh, whew. Environments, I think, look beautiful. 
Well, our one environment that we've seen, the detail is like crazy. Animations look just smoother across the board from what I'm what I'm seeing. Like even when we saw them using the the bow gun, right? When he did the knockback, like that knockback looked really, really smooth. I like that a lot. The details on the weapons and the armor look great. Uh, I'm glad to see that you don't, when you call secret, it's not an immediate thing where a secret pops up. The 3D map looks incredible. That's gonna be so nice for navigating. So freaking nice. I'm very excited for the 3D map. And that the map apparently is showing you environmental things you can interact with. I don't know if that's that. It might just be an egg. <laughs> it might just be an egg. But the UI, I'm loving the UI, man. The UI looks really clean. Love it. I'm liking the little picture that we have of our frog boy. I, I've loved everything I've seen so far. I wasn't super sure about focus mode, but now I'm like all in on focus mode. I think it looks great. Um, the slinger, I'm really happy that the slinger is a little bit... It's not bulky anymore. It's a lot more form fitting. <laughs> Because, man, the slinger sure did look ugly on a lot of armor. Now it's it's a lot less in your face. Looks a bit better with fashion. Remember, we are getting a new video every single day. Every day will be a new video on a, a weapon. So, we are going to be eaten for two weeks. And then Gamescom happens, and then we're going to have a bunch of new information. But yeah, I've, I've kind of loved everything I've seen. Grabbing things from a distance, the 3D map. Um, secret not coming to pick you up immediately, so he can't just like grab you off the ground every time you fall down. Um, the slinger being able to actually grab onto rocks that are in the ceiling and pull them down and not just having to shoot the slinger at them. The way that everything is so detailed and smooth. Greatsword looks fun. I can't wait to see more. More tomorrow. We'll have more tomorrow.